Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and the One GX One, which is a tiny little laptop with a seven inch display. It's designed for sort of gaming or general purpose computing. And it uh, this particular model has an Intel Amber Lake 10th generation core Y series processor and 4G LTE built in. And I think that sort of portability of it makes some people wonder, is this something that you could use uh, not just for you know putting down on your lap and getting some typing and other things done on the go, but also for thumb typing, because you know it's not that much bigger than a phone. Uh, the truth is, it's not really that comfortable to thumb type. You can see when I'm holding it this way, I can sort of reach my fingers across and touch things, but I can't really do it without looking at the keyboard. It's not as natural as on, say, a BlackBerry style keyboard, whereas the keys are pretty much where I would expect them to be for touch typing. So I'm gonna show you in this video just a quick demonstration of thumb typing versus standard typing. So we're gonna load up typingtest.com here and do a couple of quick typing tests. So starting with standard. All right, so 76 words a minute, two errors, adjusted typing speed of 73 words per minute. That's uh, not quite as fast as I can normally type on a full-size keyboard, and you'll notice that uh, some of my typing is not uh, exactly what you're supposed to do. I tend to sort of delete and backspace instead of just keeping going for uh, sheer speed. But that's much, much better than I expect to do thumb typing. So let's see. All right, so this time, uh, surprisingly enough, zero errors, but just 39 words per minute. So uh, substantially faster, almost twice as fast, uh, maybe a little bit less than twice as fast if you do the math, uh, when typing with sort of touch typing. I did find myself having to look down at the keyboard and I found it a lot less comfortable. So not only is it two finger or two thumb typing in this case, but it also um, just, you sort of have to move your hands much farther in order to reach and I have to spend more time thinking about which thumb goes where. Now that said, I'm not somebody who spends a lot of time thumb typing. I don't have a Blackberry or another phone with that style of keyboard. I don't have a GPD micro PC or another mini computer that has a thumb style keyboard. So if you're used to thumb typing, maybe you'll find this more comfortable, but I think you would probably want smaller keys that are closer together for thumb typing. Now, one thing I will say is I'm not in love with these sort of little optical touch sensors that replace touch pads on these tiny computers, but in some ways I actually find it easier to use in this mode because I can sort of reach up and uh, navigate. So if you're holding the device, instead of having to reach up to the touch screen or reach down towards a mouse, it's actually pretty easy to just drag your thumb around and navigate. Whereas if you're typing and using this more like a normal computer, you have to sort of bring your 
finger down and then be much more sensitive and aware of what you're doing than you normally would with a touchpad. So uh, in handheld mode, I think that the touch sensor is nice to have. I think that thumb typing is a little bit awkward, but it's nice to be able to do it in a pinch, I suppose. Um, you know what? Let's try one last thing here. Let's try the other mode that I think people might want to type with if they were holding this in their hand, um, which is hold it in one hand, type with the other. Try this again without the advertisement getting in the way. All right, 30 words per minute or 27 adjusted speed, and that turned out to be a lot less comfortable than I thought it was going to um, because you sort of have to move your hand all over. I think the hardest thing is punctuation and, and capitalization, uh, trying to stretch to do shift or I suppose you could do caps lock if you really wanted to. So uh, thumb typing is probably more comfortable than that, but I think the most comfortable way to type is definitely going to be put this on your lap or on a flat surface and type away in that mode. Uh, this should be true of most devices with 7-inch or larger displays. Uh, the keyboards might vary a little bit, but in terms of the size, I think thumb typing is less than ideal, but seems to be possibly better than single-handed typing, I would say, at least while holding it. So that was a quick typing test. Uh, your results may vary, but I just wanted to uh, do this video to answer that question of whether this is something that you can comfortably thumb type on, and the answer is maybe, but uh, it's not my preferred way of inputting text. You can find more details about the 1GX1 at lilliputing.com. Check out some other videos in our YouTube channel. I've got a detailed in-depth first look slash preview uh, of the device, as well as a video showing that it can run Linux reasonably well with Ubuntu 20.04. Um, and if you have any other questions, leave a comment or head on over to Lilliputing for more de details. You can also find uh, purchase links. It's available for pre-order for about $840 and up. Uh, the version with uh, LTE is going to cost you a little bit more. It's also available. The entry-level model has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Higher price models cost a little bit more. But again, more details about that and performance more generally in my other videos. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a typing test or a series of typing tests on the 1GX1 from One Netbook.